How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night. The end of the weekend is upon us. Monday tomorrow, uh, 9.48 p.m. local time here in California. January 19th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here on the live seismograph stations. It looks like a little small earthquake in the Petrolia area of Northern California. Um, doesn't look like they're uh, showing that earthquake. Well, maybe they are here on the USGS map, a little 2.1 south of the uh, Fortuna region. Handful of earthquakes out here in the last 24 hours, including uh, a couple of earthquakes in the, uh, at least one in the three range from early this morning, a 3.3. Still keep an eye here on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, trimmer activity here today, mainly confined up north underneath the Oregon area, a little bit down here across Northern California, as noted on the map. For a total tally of 295 epicenters of tremor. Uh, could be why we're seeing elevated earthquake activity here today uh, due to the tremor and the strain that's being produced out here across that subduction zone. Uh, not a whole lot going on through uh, the Washington area or Oregon for now. Looks like a little small microquake up here around the um, Newberry Volcano. That uh, may have something to do with the geothermal operations out there. Let's go see real quick, see what we got. Uh, Newberry Volcano. They're supposed to be doing some uh, geothermal operations here across this volcano, which uh, will induce earthquakes out here. Kind of hard to tell on that map. Um, let's see if this one's working. Newberry Borehole. Let's see. Kind of hard to tell. Really not... Uh, a couple smaller spikes out there, but uh, nothing big going on there for now across uh, the area. Um, the rest of California lighting up out here slightly on the San Andreas Fault. A couple smaller quakes outside of Colinga near Parkfield, the latest of 2.1. And uh, got a handful of earthquakes down south here as well, outside of Santa Barbara, a little 2.2. Nothing big coming in there for now. Got uh, just mainly small microquake activity out there across the region. But as always, that could change in the blink of an eye, no doubt. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there, but let's double check for just for verification purposes, right? Not a whole lot happening there on the live seismographs, uh, or at least the recorded ones here. Promontory, maybe a little spike of an earthquake there. This is just either wind or just a, a miss, some type of a, a station failure or maybe uh, intermittent data blackout but uh, really not seeing any type of earthquake activity across the uh, Yellowstone area for now Texas and uh, Oklahoma a couple smaller quakes nothing big got uh, let's see what we got here for the latest or in the largest earthquake here looks like it's going to be a, a 4.9 around the Papua New Guinea area early this morning uh, so it's been uh, quiet here in the last couple of days as far as any large activity goes but uh, we'll keep an eye on some regions out here. Japan area, awfully quiet. This area has gone uh, pretty much dead silent here uh, in the last 24 hours. We'll definitely watch that. Typical clustering here across the uh, Taiwan area southward. A lot of older movement here across the Himalayas and north into China. But that's a decent size uptick here across the area. Uh, I still think something bigger is about ready to brew out here. Uh, including the area down across Ethiopia. Uh, they had another earthquake here today, 4.4 earthquake uh, in the Great Valley, the uh, rift zone out here. Nothing changing uh, there for now in terms of volcanic activity, but uh, definitely could uh, happen here soon. Uh, aside from that, uh, Middle America Trench down here fairly active with some fours stirring up. handful of earthquakes here off the... Uh, uh, south of the border, it looks like the Baja California area with a 3.5, 3.2, and a couple other smaller quakes out there as well. Uh, it's going to be this region right here, it looks like. Um, so activity stirring up south here. Uh, the, you know, and it's still seismically active out here across Southern California. Just nothing big going on there for now. But uh, we'll keep an eye on things. Uh, space weather activity out here, mellowing out as uh, expected. And I say that because the sunspot out here, 3964, uh, is, uh, well, it's 
looks about the same as what it did this morning. There's still a little bit of complexity here within that sunspot core, but uh, anything that does blast off over there on the western limb will probably not be geo-effective. And this sunspot will be out of sight, out of mind here uh, in the, in the uh, days ahead. A couple other large sunspots out here, but really nothing of any type of major complexity. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens here on the... Uh, in the coming days, we're getting any newer sunspots out here on the eastern limb, but not looking likely that we're going to see any uh, stronger flaring out there uh, for now. Overall flare threat shows 20%. I dropped mine down to about 10%, 60% for the M flare. And as you can see on the solar flare chart, uh, not a whole lot of crackling or popping going on there, indicating uh, fairly stable sunspots across the earth-facing side of the sun. All right, quick glance here at the weather outlook. Not a whole lot of severe weather out there. I know we got uh, a lot of cold air dipping down here across the majority of the country. Uh, some snow still on top on tap for the uh, Gulf Coast states. It looks like, uh, yeah, Texas, Louisiana uh, got some snow in the forecast there. That could include um, Houston. I don't know if they have snow plows out there or not in Houston or not, but, uh, you know, from what I hear, this is a significant snowstorm, something that they haven't seen in, oh, I guess, like 50 years. Uh, so that's a considerable winter storm down there for them. A little bit of ice may be involved in that. Uh, and once that moves out and off, we got, uh, well, we got a lot of colder air dipping back here across Northern California. That is something new. Um, maybe a little bit of rainfall, not limited moisture though, but looks like some cold air coming in. And, um, you know, un unfortunately I don't see any major pattern change that would bring the West coast sufficient rainfall, just, uh, that low pressure that may bring some cooler temperatures, snow up in the mountains. But, uh, overall it's, it's not looking good out here in terms of, um, precipitation for the West coast. All right, folks, uh, I am going to call it. Um, no new fires out here. Uh, let's check the fire map real quick, see what we got uh, for Southern California area. Uh, they're getting a handle on it. Things looking uh, pretty good in terms of the uh, containment there. Got 56% containment with the Palisades fire. The Eaton fire over here, 81%. Uh, no hot spots being observed. I know there's some strong wind events uh, expected out here. Um, over the next few days or so, but uh, hopefully the fires out there will stay. Um, hopefully there will be no more fires, but uh, we got to keep an eye on that when we're this dry and uh, get these wind events, as we've seen here with the recent uh, fires there, they can take off uh, fairly rapidly. Another earthquake out here around Parkfield. That was at 21, uh, 21 24, yeah. So, yeah, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things out here, folks. Uh, nothing big going on there for now. New Zealand's seen a little bit of activity out there uh, listed on the map, some older activity. I know there's some smaller quake activity down there uh, across the uh, Christchurch area, but nothing big going on for now. Hope everyone has a uh, wonderful evening out there. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow for the uh, Monday morning update, I'm going to call it. Have a good one. Stay safe out there.